All right, we're kind of all done here, except just a few more little odds and ends. So I wanted to mention that it, if it's asking you for kind of a deeper question, um, I just wanted to make a longer thing in here. How do you write that? So for example, this one in particular is asking for differences and similarities that you find. That's a couple sentences. That's not a quick one word. It's nominal, it's ordinal, it's interval, it's ratio, that kind of thing, or it's quantitative and discrete, right? So if this is asking for deeper answers to questions, then it's probably going to run longer. I mean, it will probably run a little long, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay. If that's the case, what I did to make it, this all work was I highlighted these cells and I merged them. So I would like take a whole bunch of cells and I clicked the merge and center button right there like that. And if I click it again, it disappears. And so then all my answers crammed into that little space. So if you don't want that, you can kind of highlight them and merge them. Another thing you can do, and I'll show it to you right now here, let me copy and cut this out of here. Okay, you could click on insert and you can go to text box like that. So click on text box and then you can, oopsie, except I did it wrong. Hold on one second. It's giving me grief because I've got my little, because you guys are recording. All right, so if I move, see how it makes that little, it looks sort of like a little sword. And then I can, oops, and then I didn't make it very big so I can kind of click on these little blue guys at the edges and make it bigger or smaller depending on what I want and then I can control paste my answers into it and I can make that text box I can format it you know format the shape format the text box etc so I can make it so that it's solid color I can make it so that it's all sorts of things that I want there it is do I want it to be vertically aligned? Do I want it horizontal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there's all sorts of stuff I can do in there, right? So that's another way to do it. Or you can just type in a cell like that. I can click and delete that text box. Oopsie, come here. There it is. So I've got the whole thing highlighted. Then I click delete and it gone. it's gone. But to get all this answer seen, I can go, mm, okay, I think it's gonna take that many cells merge and then there we are and don't forget you can always fiddle with the narrowness and width of your columns your rows if you go to this halfway between the two and the three you can double click there it is etc so some of these answers are, are one word some of these are a little sentence or two you know whatever if you need to make the, the the row wider to fit more words in here that's fine that happens okay make sure when you're all done and you've got all this written out right and again you don't have to do the two-tone thing if you don't want to i mean i just like it because i think it makes it easy to follow but you know if you do, maybe i'm wrong maybe you don't find it easy to follow or maybe your instructor doesn't find it easy to follow whatever that's just me so and you can make more cells yellow or, or you can make them blue for if that's your favorite color whatever but you want to make it so that it is again i reiterate easy for your instructor to figure out what the question was what your answer is where all your answers are you can use um, excel to do small easy calculations really simply so i've got my data and graphs all right here there they are i got all my analyses done i'm going to save it my name is on the project everything's great you can call it yummy or yummy project whatever you know whatever you want and then i'm going to shut it down and then i want to be very careful that when i check when I attach that file in my email let me go grab an email there we go it would be a wise move to state you know who you are and say what you're sending my yummy project here it is right I can type that down here here it is and again every email system is going to be slightly different and you want to look for either a paperclip symbol or the attach a file symbol and then you want to go find that file so for me it's the tucky alana there it is, yummy project. And it should look like this. It should have a little Excel symbol on it. Or it should end in XLS or an XLSX when you upload it. And then you send it to your instructor. And it's all done. All right. Have a good time with it. I hope you enjoy it.